Hi guys, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today I'm going to take you for a walk around the Neo NASX. This is a newer model trailer for Neo. It's their only triple axle. So it's a little different than many of our other trailers for a few reasons. One, you don't see many triple axles. Two, it's a seven and a half foot wide, which you don't see very many of. Generally, you'd be seven feet. This particular unit's got a number of options on, which is why I thought it'd be a good trailer to take a walk around. And we'll go ahead and show you some of the standard features as well as the options on this trailer. So first, while we've got a nice pan shot of the whole trailer, you'll see there's a few extra uh, markers up top. We also have a few in the middle level. You'll notice on a seven and a half wide, you get uh, a bit of fender on the outside, but then you're also gonna have a little bit of fender on the inside. You're gonna have like a fenderette on the inside. The uh, seven wide's the biggest you can get without having any sort of fender uh, on the inside of the trailer. You'll notice they do a couple little neat details, uh, scoops in front and behind the fender. This one's got the aluminum wheels. And then on a seven and a half, you're also gonna get a torsion suspension. Notice this one's got the two-tone. I believe that one's called the Bradley two-tone. Nice setup. Neo builds their doors uh, in-house. This is a nice RV style door, not the strap hinge door that you would usually see. A little bit nicer setup. It's also got uh, all aluminum hardware. There's no plastic handles or holdbacks. Uh, you'll notice they put the scuff guard on the corners. Another nice detail. This is a round top roof, not a flat top. The round top, in my opinion, just looks sharper. It looks traditional and classic. Uh, nice setup. Notice they put their name badging uh, on the nose. Do the nice nose cap. Also notice they got a kind of designer looking stone guard. They've got some real cool equipment in house that they're able to do some of these details with. So Neo on a lot of their sled trailers uh, and car haulers will put this drop leg jack. Nice setup for those not familiar, you'd simply pull the pin, drop the inner leg down, use the side one handle for your additional adjustment. It's got a grease dirt on it for serviceability. Of course you got your safety chains. They use a, a sealed whip. And then up front, you've got a Demco Easy Latch Coupler. Very nice setup. If you're not familiar with the Demco, it's so easy to use. Simply pull it up, and it basically auto-latches. So as you drop the jack down on the ball, it's going to automatically close. Another thing with Neo that we really like, and we'll, we'll show you this here in a second. So some sled trailers use a 4-inch tube frame. Some use a 5-inch tube frame. Neo on this is going to use a five inch double hollow frame. You'll notice how that frame's different in the corners and then of course you've got your center reinforcement. That's designed to keep that frame from twisting and flexing. Uh, double hollow is going to be a lot stronger. So this is what they use on the main frame and then this is actually what Neo uses on their cross members. They do very heavy duty uh, cross members. So what makes this different than a lot of sled trailers? Many manufacturers are going to build a rectangular shape uh, frame on a jig and then slap a tongue underneath it. Generally that tongue will go back to uh, roughly in that area. So I'll show you underneath how much different this is. It ties in so many more places. <clears throat> so if you look back, all those cross members of the four inch, four inch tube, you'll notice the triple tube tongue, how it comes back and then how they integrate the frame. There's a lot of work there, but these guys have a lot of automated equipment that they're able to use to make this possible. It's a very impressive tongue and mainframe. Uh, certainly the most impressive I've crawled under, which is why we're taking a look at it now. So again, not only are the cross members pretty impressive, but how the tongue and mainframe all integrate make it a very, very strong setup. Okay, again, they do do the nicer style doors. Uh, they also, and we'll show you the rear door here in a second, do an NXP latch on their doors. Gives it a nice, clean look. Also very functional. Put the uh, name badging on the unit. One thing this one doesn't have that we do a fair amount of, Neo makes some really nice rear, rear uh, jack stands that they build. Uh, they're made out of box tube and they they're mounted on the back instead of underneath. Okay, you'll also notice this has their Teflon hinges. They do a real nice job with uh, 
creating stuff that generally lasts and doesn't always need a lot of service like these here if you look at the end of that hinge that's got uh, Teflon some sort of Teflon in it it's a neat setup it doesn't require any service or maintenance okay let's take a look underneath the trailer you notice they got a set of rear bogey wheels due to the length so again that'd be designed that if it bottoms out it's gonna roll instead of catch and tear something up also notice this one's got a set of double LED taillights at the rear it's got the NXP latch on it this one's got the DRT spoiler it's a real cool looking design uh, it not only looks good it's got your built-in load lights very neat setup good looking design so again this uh, NXP latch is stainless steel it doesn't get much easier basically you would simply it's a little harder to do with uh, holding something in your hand but you simply depress the center and this opens up I gotta say the women especially love this setup opening a door with one hand can be a little bit of a challenge so here's something I want to show you too Neo does a, uh, a very nice uh, flip over ramp flap extension there's no hinges uh, to get caught up and in, in the way another nice feature they do so the flooring there you're looking at is called Nudo or some call it New Poly uh, it's pretty neat stuff let's get a, a close-up again of that so basically it's it's basically laminated into the plywood it's uh, compressed it's a, a poly substance uh, again it's done at the plywood manufacturer so the one nice part about this is it's commercially done by the flooring manufacturer it's actually relatively inexpensive because there's less labor uh, at the trailer manufacturer uh, they're not laying a second substrate down and putting vinyl between it and all that good stuff or putting uh, putting uh, oh, putting sheeting between it so this is a uh, tracking that Neo puts in the floor uh, it is very nice setup if you look at the tie downs these are designed to basically run with each of the floor cross members so each of those are lagged into the four inch box tube floor cross members notice they put three lags in each one so as I was saying earlier a seven wide is the biggest that you can get without having any sort of fender uh, a seven and a half is going to get you about probably two about two inches or so of fender this one's got a kick plate it's a 12 inch kick plate when you do the Nudo flooring on this they also put that kick plate at the bottom of the wall it's got a white vinyl wall you can also get this with a sport wall which would give you an aluminum uh, instead of vinyl so definitely a nice look uh, this one here you see it's got the uh, green cove instead of the traditional white and then here would be a four pack of the 12 volt uh, strip lights inside something that we do in quite a few trailers and then this one's got the finished ceiling on it as well this one's got a, uh, a roof vent and then outside you may have saw the max air cover that sticks up uh, max air cover is just a cover that goes over the roof vent that would allow you to keep it open uh, also gives some added UV protection to it. So inside here we got a spare tire. Uh, we got a four foot front overhead cabinet. I uh, really like how Neo does their cabinets. Uh, you can put garments and whatnot uh, on the supports underneath there. Their front ramp door also has a uh, NXP latch handle on it as well. You'll notice they take the time to cover the spring with a color coordinated cover kind of a neat idea and also the ramp gut nudo as well you'll notice the breakaway box is inside it's not outside uh, Neo has a, a pretty cool way of running wiring it all goes uh, right up that nose cone it's all easily accessible again this is a 33 footer another little detail that Neo does uh, they put a, a cover over the door so that when you bring your sleds in, uh, you're not going to tear up the face of the door. Another neat idea. They also face the door with the wall color. Gives it a nice look. 
you got a switch uh, up front for your lights and then you've also got a switch at the rear for your rear loading light Again, the spring cover at the rear is also a matching matching color as well there's other floor finishes available you can get rubber coin flooring uh, you can get an extruded aluminum floor it's a handful of different ones this nudo is uh, certainly one of the more common ones uh, that we go through let me show you how this nxp door latch works essentially you've got a, a pry bar uh, that's essentially right now in the closed position it would be uh, upright if it were open and it's gonna it's gonna pry itself shut you get a very tight door seal right there you can see uh, where it latches or how it latches uh, gives you a very tight seal if that's something that's important to you at all it's an 030 aluminum exterior it is screwless or what some would refer to as bonded it's got a one-piece aluminum roof there you can see the max air cover on the top of the trailer Neo's got a handful of different colors you can get they've got a product selector on the website that'll show you what the different two tones and wheels and colors will look like on the trailer very neat um, very neat setup if it's something you're interested in probably be worth taking a look and matching up the different colors and you can see how it looks before you buy it if you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers give us a ring at 717-220-4220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com